The heat bed is the element that will keep our prints in place throughout the printing process. It will help with the addition of the first layer and help the prints from warping. It should be noted that some materials like nylon or ABS are more prone to warping and further measures should be taken from keeping this to happen, like PLA slurry or an enclosure. In this case we'll add a 3 mm glass plate to improve the addition. Cut a 30 by 30 cm square of clear contact paper roll and paste it on one side of the glass plate. We'll leave the glass plate like this for now and move on to the heat bed. To prepare the heat bed, we'll fix the remaining 100K thermistor to the bottom of the PCB board with captain tape and solder two of 0.16 cables to the area below the heat bed that is coated in copper. We'll cut two segments of cable. Calculate the length as tower height plus 30 centimeters and strip both ends of the cables. Solder each of the cables to the copper area and the heat bed and cover them with captain tape. These cables will build quite up the amount of temperature so it's wise to isolate them with captain tape all the way. Add the missing amount of 0.16 cable to the thermistor cable to match this length. Now place the glass plate with the contact paper facing down over the heat bed and slide both heat bed mounts on each side. The tide should be fit and the glass plate should sit firmly and closely to the heat bed. We'll add the heat bed mounts with the heat bed and glass plate to the lower aluminium frame with M4 bolts and nuts using the same technique as with the power supply bracket. Slide the M4 nut in the aluminium extrusion opening. Align the opening and a heat bed mount and insert the M4 bolt tightening it. Repeat this process for the second heat bed mount and slide both mounts till they are aligned and the heat bed sits in the middle of the frame. 